And welcome back to our continuing day three coverage here of the Wheelchair Tennis Masters, sponsored by NEC and Uniqlo. And as we've come through the morning with a couple of dynamic singles matches, having just watched a magnificent match between Gustavo Fernandez and Stefan Houdet, we transition now into the doubles portion of the competition as we continue with quad doubles here on center court. The matchup between Nick Taylor and David Wagner, the long-standing legendary American team versus Andy Lapthorn and Anthony Cotterill from Great Britain. Uh, so many matchups between these four over the, over the years. And both teams here having lost yesterday in doubles needing a win to kind of keep their hopes alive as they pursue a Uniqlo doubles masters title. Look on the side of the court of the two Brits there. Overall look there, David Wagner in the green, Nick Taylor in the power chair, bottom of your screen. And it's Andy Lapthorne, the left-hander there on the deuce side and Anthony Cotterill serving top right. As mentioned, this is kind of a critical match for both teams as both teams lost their opening doubles match in the round robin format. Both teams needing to get a win here today. The loser here today likely, oh, without some slight miracles, likely going to be at the bottom of the heap in the doubles draw. Both will still have one match left in the round robin portion. Wagner and Taylor up against Kim and Seguino in the next round, and it will be Lapthorne and Cotterill up against the Dutch in their next round. As you can see, the heat is up, 83 degrees, a little bit of clouds in the sky, still a beautiful day, and we're at five miles per hour, almost just a nice breeze to keep things moving a little bit, not anything to really impact play, and of course, our desired 1% chance of rain. Team of Wagner and Taylor to serve, David Wagner to serve. First point of the match to Wagner Taylor on the lap thorn forehand error. We will see a lot of Mr. Green there going forward in the court. We will see a lot of Mr. I uh, can't quite call the color on Anthony Cotterill there. Peach, pink, purple combo. Um, I have to chat with him later to get the official color on that shirt. You'll see a lot of Anthony Cotterill going forward here as both teams kind of align themselves with a one-up, one-back formation. It's the Wagner error now. That evens things up at 15-all. Getting a look there at three-time Paralympic gold medalists David Wagner, Nick Taylor, having won in Athens, again in Beijing, and again in London, and falling just shy of four as they gained their silver medal in Rio in 2016. David Wagner with the volley, backhand winner. We'll see quite a bit of him on display up at net here in the, this match. He has arguably the best hands ever in the quad division up at net. See, he gets a great read there, finds the line, great court sense.
Taylor looking to go up and over Lapthorn. Lapthorn choosing to make the, the play on it, sending it wide along, and it's 40-15 for Wagner and Taylor. Off to a good start here in their opening game. Great shot there by Andy Lapthorne, and we'll see him be able to reproduce that shot throughout the day. Looping, big, high, heavy topspin forehands off the left-hander. will be going up and over Wagner, up and over Taylor as often as possible today. 40-30 for the Americans. And it's Nick Taylor with the forehand winner from deep in the court. The Americans off to a good start, one love. Up to the Brits to answer now. You can see from where Taylor was, incredible shot there. Deep in the corner, not his first time executing that brilliantly hit forehand. Cotterell not finishing, Taylor getting a pretty good look, just missing wide. And too good there from Nick Taylor. Another one of his textbook shots on display there, the up and over heavy topspin. Gets things evened up at 15 all here. Taylor showing off the volley skills, taking that one out of the air. The volley winner past Cotterell. Not going to see Nick Taylor in volleying a lot, but it's a good look at it like that. He knows what to do with it. Perfectly executed. Strong return through the middle by David Wagner produces the air off of the Cotterell forehand. And just like that, it's Americans with two break points here with a chance to go up 2 0 early going. Both 
guys on the American side looking pretty sharp in the early going here. Forehand, well long, and it's two love, Wagner and Taylor. First look at Nick Taylor on the serve, and if you haven't seen him serve in the past, you're in for a treat. It's one of the unique things in the sport from one of the unique and legendary players here in the sport of wheelchair tennis. The last remaining power chair users in the game to Wagner quick enough. Probably was heading long, but David choosing to make the play. Fortunes continue here for Taylor and Wagner. A couple points away from maybe getting out to a nice three love lead here in the opening set. Both looking pretty comfortable, pretty confident. No question about game plans between these four. Everybody knows what they want to do. It's just about execution here. Played so many times in the past. Incredible familiarity. about who gets things going in their direction. You, you Wagner dumps the backhand into the net. Gets us to 30 all. And now it's the Brits with the chance for a break. Let's see what Andy Lapthorne's got in store here for the return. Massively missed forehand is what he's got. Gives a quick little slap to his partner. Try to quickly dismiss that one. Not a good look at a second serve return there with a chance for a break. Bit of a missed opportunity.
Great shot by David Wagner, kind of punching that forehand down the line past Lapthorn. Yeah, too much court there. Nick Taylor ripping the forehand cross court for the pass easily. Cotterell knows he gave up too much court there. Taylor pounced on it. Great shot at the Taylor forehand right there for the winner. He knew it immediately, just like a golfer ripping a drive down the center of the fairway. Put the club down, start walking towards your caddy. Just long off the Lapthorn forehand there. Ooh. Wagner not quite getting enough on that return, which was, of course, long, so it doesn't matter. Didn't catch the call on that one. Lapthorn here on the second serve. Nice shot there by Anthony Cotterell. Thorn error in the net there gets us to 30 all. Certainly a little bit of energy and positivity coming off the American side, a little less so off the Brits. Still haven't really found their game, gotten much momentum or anything going on their side. I guess not a lot to have celebrated yet.
the Lapthorn double fault. Brings it to 30-40. Break point for the American team. Oh, Wagner slides in behind. Punches the volley past Cotterill for four love. Wagner and Taylor on cruise control on the early going right here. Says it all right there. It's been all David Wagner and all Nick Taylor so far. Early going to the first set here. Quad doubles. Part of the Uniqlo doubles masters portion of the tournament. And Andy Lapthorne finds the range there, the big forehand. Top spin lob over the head of Nick Taylor. Strong forehand there by David Wagner. Caught a little bit caught out of position. Not able to respond. Tough times continue for the Brits. Fly long there, and it's going to be Taylor that wins the lob war against Lapthorn. Thirty fifteen for the team of Wagner Taylor, looking to continue to extend their blistering start here in the first set. Great effort by Anthony Cotterell to chase that one down, but not able to do enough. David Wagner sitting right there, easily able to clean that one up. The overhead out wide, and now point away from 5 0. Characteristic miss there from David Wagner on the sitter volley. He knows it. Gives Nick the smirk. Nick gives him the smirk back. Keeps things light. Read the Taylor shot, but couldn't come up with the answer for it. And it's five love. David Wagner, Nick Taylor currently cruising through Team Britain. Quick 
little montage of shots to take a peek at Nick Taylor, the American through the years here, as it says, as he gets prepared to wind down his illustrious career. This, having announced that this would be his final Masters performance here over all the years that he's been on the tour. Former world number one, singles and doubles. Tell you how long he's been around, how many matches he's played. Big time matches, as mentioned, gold medals, silver medal, bronze medal. Pretty much done it all. Grand Slam, you name it. Nick Taylor's done it, done it well. I know he's done it with a smile on his face. Just an amazing duo, those two. What they've accomplished over the years. Great look at Nick Taylor through the years. Performing well here today. As he and his partner, David Wagner, are kind of in full control of this. Almost wonder if the Brits are going to be like, hey, let's just get rid of this game and start fresh again and set number two. Five love here. Not sure. The effort's worth it to try to get back into this set. And the volley that David Wagner missed a game before, he doesn't miss this time. Punches it through the middle, splits the uprights. And it's 30 love for Wagner and Taylor here as they continue to just kind of dominate the Brits. And Andy Lapthorne decides to just kind of take a big old cut at one. Catches it at the right time, at the right place. Drives it down the line past David Wagner. Didn't get cheated on this swing. Pretty much all or nothing right there. He got all. on the return there from David Wagner, kind of tying up Ant Conneral. And now, two set points for the Americans. there. Good push by David Wagner, but Cotterell leaving it just short enough that the American can't get it. Taylor not having done enough to put Cotterell in trouble on that shot. Still a chance for the break here.
that's going to be good enough to get it back to Deuce right there. And he lapped Thorne up over the head. Off the bounce over Nick Taylor. Bit of a miss hit winner there for Wagner, uh, for Taylor on the return. They'll take it as they inch closer to closing out this set. Everything's going right, it's going right. And that one's gonna fly. And it hits the chair and as if things couldn't get worse for the Brits, that's point and set to Taylor and Wagner as Cotterell can't get out of the way of the errant return by Wagner. And yet it still falls in the favor of the Americans. Six love. We'll see how the Brits regroup here. What kind of fight they bring to the table here in set number two. Boeing right off foot plate. And by this reaction here, you know that's not a good thing. Not the typical score between these two longtime foes. That's uh, actually pretty, pretty oddball one. We'll see how that kind of e either gets dismissed quickly and we get into a fight here, or maybe it's just not somebody's day. And we're back. Nick Taylor. A bit more fire out of Anthony Cotterell there, even on the return. You can see the energy right out the gate. Not that it produces any better result, but you can see that the Brits are going to come out and give it a little bit of a fight here in the early going. See how that materializes, but just from the look of the first couple of swings, better energy than what we saw throughout the majority of the first set. Things just going the way of Wagner and Taylor. And as is often the case in the tennis world, the quick 6-0 set can be easily dismissed. It's like, where do you go from here? And so if the Brits can get off to a little bit of a start here, probably dig in a little bit and expect a bit of a match. Great serve by Nick Taylor, gets into the body of Cotterell. No response, and we got kind of same old, same old as the Americans jump out here, 30-15. That backhand's gonna find the stands. 
that's going to give Taylor and Wagner two looks at a game here in the opening game of the second set. to string together seven straight. Cotterell puts a little bit more sauce on that return. Gets the result he wants. Gonna need to reproduce a few more of those. Still a chance for a hold here. And it's the shot from Taylor splitting the Brits. The errant forehand from Lapthorne, and the same old, same old continues. The Americans now up a set and one love, having reeled off seven straight games to start the match. First positive things we've seen from the Brits today so far. It's the ace up the tee by Andy Lapthorne. And it's the forehand winner by Connor uh, Lapthorne. Gets them off to one of the best starts they've had in any of the games so far in this match. the second serve ace and the second ace of the game here for Andy Lapthorne as they go up 40 love. Three looks at even in this second setup. And he takes a big old cut at the backhand, finds the net. One of the points quickly dismissed. And there it is. The Brits are finally on the board. We're evened up at one all here in the second set. It's as if the first set never happened. I'm sure the team of Lapthorne and Cotterill would like to think so.
Wagner serving one game all. Got both Brits up and just enough. The Latthorn volley finds the Wagner or finds the Taylor chair. Love 15. Too much on the wheels, David Wagner leaving that one. Little too high, little too deep. Pretty easy response there from Lapthorne. It's a quick love 30. And the no return gets Taylor and Wagner on the board here. Wagner service game. Big forehand there by Ann Cotterell. Starting to get a little bit more on track here with that shot so far here in the second. Seen a couple examples of him letting it fly a little bit more. 15-40. Oh, good serve by David Wagner. Ties Cotterell up. Which is the Americans. A little bit closer into it. Once again, choosing to go with the overhead as he's rolling back, not able to really kind of push in and get out in front of that. Sends it long, and we get back to Deuce. there from Taylor and it's break chance here for the Brits. Just misses the drop shot attempt in front of Taylor. And we go back again to Deuce. Taylor got the U out, but Wagner not getting the look at it. 
and it's game. Or not quite game yet, still advantage Great Britain. No answer there. Too good from Cotterell. And the lob, and he's kind of starting to get it going a little bit. And it's going to be important here if the Brits are going to get into this match, take the second set, and force a third. Right now, first time all day. Advantage there. Great Britain up 2 1 in the second, down a set. Great shot by Taylor there. No response by Cotterell. It's Wagner Taylor sensing that they don't want the Brits to get back in this match and get up on top of them here in the second set. Kind of, kind of hang with them here at least in the early going. Certainly Great Britain has stepped up their game. Easy for Lapthorne right there to go up and over. Get that shot pretty much nine out of ten times. That will continue to be a problem there if they're giving him those looks. Just rips up over the head of Wagner. Heavy topspin just explodes past Taylor. Trying to go big there and past Lapthorne, but too much and too long. It's 30 15 for Lapthorne and Cotterell. Dumps the forehand in the net. Shakes his head. And says, let's go back to our partner.
Great shot by Nick Taylor right there. Got her a little bit inside the service box there. Taylor having enough time to line that one up. And now it's a great chance for Taylor and Wagner. there by David Wagner and he knows it. Opportunity missed there. Now it's back to Deuce. Great return there by Nick Taylor. Lapthorne coming in behind. Cotterill not able to answer. by David Wagner splitting Cotterill and Lapthorne. Lapthorne able to get to it, but not control it, sends it long. Third break chance for the Americans. Takes a peek, sees Cotterill just a little bit out of position. Spanks the forehand down the line for the winner. And the break evens things up to two all. Taylor serving two games all second set. One set to love for Taylor and Wagner. Cotterill staying aggressive on the forehand, but missing the mark there. Acceleration there by Anthony Cotterill. Good finish, good top spin. Wagner Taylor just a little bit out of position, having a little discussion about their positioning and tactics on the court.
trouble right there. And there it is, beautifully struck by Andy Lapthorne. You could see that one right from the time it left his racket that was dialed in. Can volley punched long by Lapthorne there. We go to 30 all. Kind of a lot more back and forth, certainly, than what we saw in the first set when it was all Taylor and Wagner throughout the entirety of that one. Right now, points are coming kind of back and forth. A little bit of momentum swings, but a lot of tension starting to actually build here in the second set. Oh, Taylor, top of the tape gets kicked back. Now a chance for the Brits to break. And we go to Deuce. Back and forth continues here. Too good by Nick Taylor right there. Perfectly executed over the head. Not too high, drops it in the corner. Lapthorne, no answer. Now a chance for a hold. Americans to go up 3-2. Swinging backhand volley by Andy Lapthorne right there. Takes it into the open court past David Wagner. So much better here in the second set. I don't know what's finally kicked in with that shot, but it's there now. Kind of been a difference maker here in the second set. Oh. I've been feeling it. Had to go with it. Finds the top of the net. back. Break chance here in these longer deuce games, kind of big momentum swingers here in the set. Brits just looking to stay on top here. No options for them. Need to get this one. Mm. 
characteristic. Double fault from Nick Taylor gives the Brits a 3-2 lead here in the second set. Taylor and Wagner up one set to love. Nice shot by Nick Taylor there. David Wagner making a nice decision to let that go back to his partner. Let Nick unleash the forehand. Gets the winner. And 
again, the touch shot that Lapthorne tried. The last Wagner service game finds the mark this time. It's 15.30 on the Wagner serve. Lapthorn sticking with the drop shot. Poor execution. He knows it. Gives Anthony Cotterell the gift. And now a couple chances for the Brits to break. Continue to keep the lead here in the second set. I'd like the, likely to get as easy a game on the Cotterell serve. And there's the forehand cross court winners to seal off that break of serve. And it's Team Cotterell and Lapthorne. Four games to three on the changeover. Taylor Wagner up one set to love. Team of Lapthorne and Cotterell trying to separate for the first time in a much bigger way here. 4-3, not much of a margin. They could get it to 5-3, put a hell of a lot of pressure on Wagner and Taylor here. The second set certainly go a long way to possibly forcing the third. fun currently on the side of the Brits. Didn't see much of that at all in the first set. Certainly a looser, more relaxed, more confident team right now, showing what they're capable of. enough to be able to execute that volley. A little too stretched out. Good time for it, up 30 love.
Too much. Too good. Too easy. The Brits quickly shake it off. Great serve by Ant Cotterill right there. Fine in the tee. Comfortably and confidently. Taylor, no response. And now Britain with a chance to go up. Five games to three, one point away. Tough spot for the Brits as they were both kind of caught a little bit out of position, but a little bit of luck there as Cotterill finds the sideline past Wagner on the half volley. And just like that, 5-3. Lapthorne and Cotterill. Americans having to serve to stay in the set. Gonna need a hold and a break here to get it to five all and hang around here. Or else we're going to a third. hit forehand by Andy Lapthorne. Gets the first point of the ninth game to the Americans. Yeah, too good, too good. You hear Taylor yelling you, and you can tell the ball's up already over the head of Wagner. Not gonna be a good response. Not gonna be a good outcome for Taylor and Wagner right there. Beautiful shot by Ann Cotter, who's kind of been the difference here in the second set. You can tell from his first swing. He was bringing a little bit more of the A game. calmly puts that one past Wagner. Don't miss it wide, Andy is right. Location isn't gonna be what makes the outcome any better. Just got to get it over the net into the blue. That's a cheap one right there and uh, one that Wagner and Taylor will gladly take. Once again, finding the range, finding the mark, getting the ro location right, giving his team a chance at 
taken set number two. First break point. My mistake, I think that one was out and it's Wagner Taylor with a chance to, to hold here. Stay in the set. That's trouble right there. It's Andy Lapthorne that gets the Britons back to Deuce. into the net and once again it's Taylor and Wagner fighting it off looking to try to keep this set in play and hopes for a straight set victory alive by Cotterell, which gets the Americans to 5-4 on the changeover. Breathe a little sigh of relief. It'll be up to the Brits to serve it out and try to get to three sets. atrocious last service game. Three double faults. We'll see if he can get his service game in order here. Close out this second set here for his, him and his team. Off to a better start already. That's the forehand push long by Wagner that gives the Brits a quick 15-love lead. Too good right there. Taylor getting things back to 15 all here. The well placed lob over Cotterell and past Lapthorne. Lap 
Thorne. Finding the range up there at net. Wise to take that first one out of the air. Take the pressure off Cotterell. I think that would have been trouble. The smile on his face. It's two points away from the set. Zealous there. We go back to 30 all. Wagner Taylor, two points from tying it up, five all, and Lapthorne Cotterell, two points away from forcing a third set. Big serve by Annie Lapthorne, returned by. Taylor just long, and now it sets up first set point for Lapthorne and Cotterell to force deciding third set. Shot crossing over by David Wagner. Blasted past Cotterell there for the winner. Staves off the set point. Great read by Wagner right there. In that position. A ton of times before. Time double fault there by Andy Lapthorne. Goes with the soft first, tries to load up on the second. Now, Wagner Taylor, point away from five all. goodness. <laughs> Nick Taylor looks like he's got the pass. Andy Lapthorne just kind of thrusts the rack out there and just sticks it down the line. <laughs> Almost no business making that shot, but he does. Nick just puts the brakes on and says, are you kidding me? And here we are, Deuce. That might be the wild shot of the match so far. Finds the line. Ball's good. Wagner finds the range. And once again, point away from five all. That's going to be too good right there. Big mistake by Lapthorne to attack Wagner like that. Too good of hands, now we're at five all. Opportunity missed by the Brits, but not done yet. Second service break in a row by Wagner and Taylor on the Lapthorne serve. First one pretty easy, but that one they had to earn. Wagner serving, five all, second set. Wagner gives one back on the freebie, the double fault.
backhand into the net. And we're at 15 all. Two looks at that one. Doesn't miss the second one. Yeah. Missed it again. This be the third time today. I think he learned, but nope. Keeps going back to the well. And we're back to 30 all. Just back. Six five. One's going to sail, and there's the six five lead to the Brits. And it'll be Anthony Cotterell this time to serve for the set. Well, here we are getting into crunch time. Second set. Anthony Cotterell to serve. Second time Great Britain serving for the set. Unable to close it out at 5-4. Too easy right there. Carroll does a nice job of cleaning that forehand volley up, sending his team into an early 15 love lead here. Oh, inside out, Taylor with the winner. than they can do on that one. That one's too far there. Once it gets up above, Wynn takes over on that. Wagner has no spin to bring that one down into the court. 
It's 3015 Lapthorn Cotterill. Too good by Nick Taylor. He's the first one to execute there. Lapthorn tried, left his short, and it's Taylor who finds the mark and gets it to 30 all. that wins the exchange between Taylor. Wagner not get a chance to pick anything off there. And now it's once again set point for Lapthorne and Cotterill. Yo. And that finds the mark, great serve, great finish. And it's set number two to Lapthorn and Cotterill 7-5, as if the 6-0 never happened. And now we're going three.
course no question about that but these guys these guys are not though so yeah we're ready Here we go. It's a beautiful day. Let's play three. It's David Wagner, Nick Taylor, Anthony Cotterell, Andy Lapthorne. Getting ready to kick off set number three here. Nick Taylor to serve. Let's play. Six zero. -oh. First set seems like a long time ago. Seven five. Second set a little bit more indicative of what these four typically bring in their head-to-head -head matchups. Good start there on the return by Anthony Cotterell.
and it's Taylor finding the mark there. Been a battle between Taylor and Lapthorne all day here in regards to the up and over shots. It's between Cotterell and Wagner to impose themselves a little bit more at the net, a little bit more off the ground occasionally. You know what we're going to get from Taylor and Lapthorne. Finding the net on that second volley there. Cotterell staying on top of him. That's trouble. And there it is. It's Lepthorne and Cotterell with two chances to break here in the opening game of the third set. Momentum going to be pretty critical here. Either team opens up a lead, it's going to be... Well-driven ball there off the forehand of Nick Taylor. No answer from Ant Cotterell. Still a break chance, Lapthorne on the receiving end of the Taylor serve here. doesn't find the sideline. Wagner pressing the action turns out to be a good decision, forcing the air off of Cotterell. We're back to Deuce. Trouble there once again. Lapthorn, the first one to strike the blow. Leaving Wagner and Taylor shaking some heads. Break chance again. Oh, just wide. like a little Hawkeye action on that one, but he's not going to get it. And the first break and the first opening shot fired here goes to Lapthorne and Cotterell. Taylor continuing to give the chair umpire a little bit of a look. Mm. Too close to call here. Right there on the umpire sideline. Pretty easy call for him, not a far line. Andy Lapthorne to serve. David Wagner misses the forehand long.
Just long there. Gets us to 15 all. Probably couldn't have been much easier there, and they would like that one back. And you can see the response by Aunt Cotterell. Got to shake that one off pretty quick here. leaving the volley out there on the Lapthorn forehand, exposing Taylor. Can't cover both the lob and the line. Lapthorn goes line, and we're at 30 all. Gonna make it. Lapthorn. Lapthorn doing a great job of kind of dictating play here with the lobs. Whether he's gonna get it up high enough over Taylor or get up over Wagner's head and not allow the Americans to respond at all. It's 40 30 for a two love lead. Taylor, who finds the mark, past Cotterell on the sideline. Big time forehand there by Nick Taylor. Nonchalant on the volley there by Andy Lapthorn. Dumps it in the net, gives Taylor and Wagner a break chance here to get to one all. Just a little bit loose right there. And there's a loose forehand from Cotterell, and now it's one all. Almost just expect this set to go back and forth, back and forth until we get deep. I mean, why not just get the tiebreaker? Go to the tiebreaker now. One all, run the tiebreaker. Fly, quick and easy point there. Nice serve by David Wagner.
Oh, beautiful once again. Taylor roaring in, ripping the forehand through the middle. Coming up with some big time shots here. Both Brits out of position. Wagner finding Cotterell coming out of the recovery. Just like that, 40 love. Yeah, both, that's bad. Wheelchair doubles right there when you got two guys inside the baseline hovering around no man's land. Not too often that good things happen there. 40 love. Tough spot there, but lucky to even probably get a get a racket on it. Two more chances to hold here and go up two games to one. Wagner tries the line, spits it out there just a little bit wide, and we go to 40-30. That's well long, and there's the hold and the 2-1 lead. Wagner and Taylor. for Taylor. 
Takes the up and over. Cotterell's there and covers nicely. Does a great job. Smart play by Ant Cotterell there. Keeping enough depth while he was up at net to get a racket on that lob by Taylor. Gets in any tighter on the net. That one's up and over. Lapthorne might not be able to track it down 15 all. That's going to find the, the baseline. Another forehand winner off the racket of Nick Taylor. That's 30-15. How many times has he done that over the course of his career? Still cranking out winners. Turn a serve error there off the racket of Wagner. He knows it. Connor almost kind of a little bit of a miss hit serve there through Wagner's timing off. Thirty all. Great shot by Ann Cotterell down the middle there, splitting the team of Wagner and Taylor. Now 40-30 with a chance to even things up here at two all. Too much spin off the racket. Pat Cotterell there. Wagner not able to get it. Nice hand there by Ant Cotterell, doing a nice job of controlling his area of the court, stretching Wagner out, and then dumping it in front of Wagner, uh, dumping it in front of Taylor. Showing off the touch right there. love here on the Cotterell serve. Oh, correction on the Taylor. On the Taylor serve. Somebody on fire right now, and his name's Ed Cotterell. Just doing everything. 
Kind of, kind of taking over here a little bit on a hot streak. Brits are going to run it right now. Run the streak while you got it. Triple break point here. There's David Wagner sticking a volley. Nicely done right there. One of the break points. Quickly erased there. Couldn't be much nicer there for Wagner. And just in the blink of an eye, two points. Just like that. Brits in a great position to go up 3-2. Squander the opportunity here with a couple of loose points. Let's see if... And then it's Lapthorne who settles things down with the return of serve winner. Gets the Brits to the changeover, up 3-2. Lapthorne to serve up 3-2. Kind of getting into that time of the match here where a little bit of late separation could be a big problem for either team. And right now it's advantage Great Britain. And it's a great start on the service game by Annie Lapthorne with the ace up the tee. It's been hot and cold with his service games here today. And Ant Cotterell down the stretch who's been kind of doing most of the damage. And he continues that onslaught. Great return and then a good finish there through the middle. Kind of been the steady difference maker here in the third. Using the underhand serve to draw Wagner in. Gets the response he likes. Goes right back at him hard. There he is. Kind of just sneaks that one in there. Draws Wagner in. Uh, draws Taylor in. Goes back at him hard. No response from, from Nick. 40 love just like that. Potentially a 4-2 lead here. A lot of work to do for Taylor and Wagner.
that's too much from the forehand of Andy Lapthorne. No response from David Wagner on the ball, just dipping down to the backhand side of his wheels. And now it's Lapthorne and Cotterill, 4-2 up and in charge here in the third. Kind of now or never time for Wagner and Taylor. 5-2 down, probably too much of a hole. Need a hold right here. Ooh, Cotterill with the hands. Nice touch. Continues to be the difference maker here in the third. Yeah. Nice response by Nick Taylor there. Things just out of reach. Cotterell over there on the forehand side. Lapthorne not doing enough with that. Return a serve. Short one left for Cotterell to clean up and dump at the feet of Wagner. Greening Ant Cotterell into the net in an attempt to get the half folly. Gives one back to Wagner and Taylor. Having a good laugh with his partner now. <laughs> Sign of a team that's pretty loose right now. Probably why they're in charge and up 4 2 here in the third. Happy and loose tends to win. Big there off the racket of Andy Lapthorne as he gets cranking on the forehand. Just drives that ball too heavy, too deep against Taylor. And now Lapthorne Cotterell point away from 5-2. Really putting Americans up against it. Shot by David Wagner through the middle there, exposing the backhand of Cotterell. Forcing things. Back to Deuce. Just long, not enough spin, not the typical spin on that lob by 
Lapthorn kind of left that one flat a little bit. Just sailed it, nothing bringing it down into the court. And now a chance for Wagner and Taylor to get a hold here. A much needed one. A couple points away just recently here. And there it is. Oh, not quite. Wagner forced to play it. That would have been out. And it's Cotterill who finds the body of Wagner, uh, Taylor. And it's back to Deuce. But that return is served by Lapthorn. No choice for Wagner but to play it. Definitely going two, three feet out. Great get by Andy Lapthorn. Keeps the point alive here. And it's the cleanup by Cotterill, the setup by Lapthorn. Job well done right there. Here's the finish by Cotterill, who's been tough up at the net here down the stretch. Another break point here. Cotterill able to track it down, but not able to get it inside the lines. And now we're getting into one of those games where Momentum is certainly going to be on the side of whoever can come out of this on top. Back of the line. Nothing to be done there. Look at one another and move on to the next point. Thorn on the attack once more. The U call by Taylor, no response by Wagner, and it's 5 2. Lapthorn and Cotterill. In control, looking very confident. Here it is, Ant Cotterill, 5-2 up in the third. The man who's been pretty lights out here in the third, set to serve it out potentially. Or 
where he and his partner Lapthorn. in a little bit of chaos. Uh-oh, now the American's a little bit out of position and in trouble, and there it is. Went from the Brits being in trouble to quickly turning the tables, put the Americans out of position and in trouble on the first point. Cotterill and Lapthorne inch closer to the finish line. Nice finish there by David Wagner. Gonna need to see a few more of theirs here strung together. That more of an aggressive return there produces the easier response from Cotterill. Wagner knows what to do with it there. Too good there by Andy Lapthorne. Certainly dialed in right now. It's Cotterill that's kind of gotten him to this point, but it's been Lapthorne here. With the explosive forehand puts the Brits two points away from the match. away with one there. Clearly the Wagner volley going long. Cotterill not able to lay off of it. We go to 30 all. See if that one becomes a big one. That would have given Team GB two match points. Flyer there by Cotterill off the backhand. And just like that, after that one momentum changing point, it's a chance for the Americans to get on the break here and get it to 5 3. Still a long way to go, but I'll take every one they can get. And there's the error in the net. It's 5-3. These guys have come back from deficit so many times in their career. Not out of the realm of possibilities. They've been in the trenches. Nick Taylor hold right here. Well struck there by Andy Lapthorne as he sets the tone with the first point of this game. Up 5-3. 15 love, Team GB.
Ah, nah, not quite. Taylor to the top of the tape. Ball bounces right instead of up and over. Just like that, it's 30 love to Lapthorne and Cotterill. Nothing Taylor can do but watch that one go over his head and watch the scoreboard move to triple match point for Lapthorne and Cotterell. And the drop shot that Andy's missed wide all day. He doesn't miss here on match point. And there it is, game, set, and match. Andy Lapthorne and Cotterell over David Wagner and Nick Taylor.
Guys, congratulations on the win. It's a big one, uh, you know, setting up some big matches coming up ahead here in the Uniqlo doubles portion of the competition. I got to ask Ant first, uh, give me what color that shirt is because I was trying to describe it on the interview or on the on the broadcast, but I wasn't able to come up with an actual color. Question. I'm going to go for salmon. Salmon. Yeah, all right, okay. there it is. For all the okay. listeners, it's official. It's salmon. So I'll give you guys an option. Do you want to talk about set one? Do you want to talk about set two, set three? What's your preference? Set two and three. Set yeah. two and three? Okay. Yeah. It's, as if, it's as if set one never even happened, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's an incredible comeback from something like that, but is it easier to dismiss a set like that than it is maybe to kind of go in, uh, you know, having come out of a, maybe a tiebreaker in the first set or something? Is it really easy for you guys to dismiss a set like that that was just like bad tennis and okay, let's be done with it? Yeah, I mean, the first set was, it was what it was. Um, and yeah, like you said, a six plus set is probably easier to get over than if you lose a lose a close one so we knew we had to react and uh, just stay close in that second set and try and nick that and then it was always going to be nip and tuck in the, in the third set we managed to win the big points which was nice. Yeah you did a nice job there. You know I gotta tell you that I can tell the difference from the first ball struck in set number two. I think it was a return to serve from you and, and it was a, it was the most well struck ball you'd hit up to that point. I mean you guys talked about it on the changeover like hey we've got to up our energy or what was it that the conversation that you had after that set? Yeah though? we just need to do something. We, 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 it was nothing Zach uh, from the Nemesis on the first game coming out fighting with a really good start and uh, yeah we managed to do that. Yeah you sure did it was noticeable and then Andy you got going on the lobs and in the third set you really got tough at net and in the in the back of court um, so it really was a, a, a total tandem job right there you guys have played them so many times uh, you know and you know them so well it's just comes down to execution and, and uh, it seems like you just really got it going there in the third right yeah my drop shots were on fire in that third set um, <laughs> so uh, I had to go for one at the end because I missed too many so yeah always good to win and always good to play David and Nick and get, and get over the line so if you're gonna miss a drop shot, Andy, where are you gonna miss that? Why? Wait, wait, wait. Well, try not to miss it. Wide, Maybe not. Why? Right? Right? I heard you so. telling yourself that yeah. uh, repeatedly, and then you kind of kept going back to the well. Yeah. But anyway, you got it done at the end there. So you got the Dutch ahead of you now uh, in the round robin portion. Still tough assignment there, but this win here kind of really sets a tone for you guys to have a chance to kind of get in the mix here a little bit. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. But uh, your sights are set on staying alive here in the competition and going to work tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Sure. All right. Going to wish you luck. It was a great win here today. It was really some quality tennis uh, from both teams down the stretch. Congratulations on a great win, and we'll see some more of you guys throughout the week. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks. Thank you.
Fourth and final match of the day here on center court. We're going to finish the day with men's doubles. Top team in the world, number one seed here at the Uniqlo Doubles Masters. Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reed out of Great Britain taking on Tom Egbrink and Michael Sheffers from the Netherlands. A matchup of silver and bronze medalists from the Tokyo Paralympic Games here just this past year. It was Hewitt and Reed with the silver and Eggbrink and Sheffers having an impressive run to the bronze. A lot of experience, a lot of firepower here on the court. Uh, both teams very familiar with one another. Many battles upon the European continent and around the world elsewhere. Advantage would still have to lead towards the Brits as they've just been almost unstoppable. In the majority of their matches. Again, advantage with the lefty-righty combo, the fluidity with which they can move in and out of the court seamlessly. Trading positions, tough to nail down one individual, but somewhat similar on the other side of the court, big game from Tom Egbrink, a lot of power, and Michael Sheffers, a lot of experience. Quick shot there of the Brits on the sideline as they're finishing up their final words and thoughts before they go into battle here. Alfie Hewitt on the left, Gordon Reed on the right. And as we discussed in one of their post-match interviews yesterday, coming off of having played each other today in singles, and how uh, easily they're able to transition from opponent to partner. Kind of sign of maturity, knowing that the two of them at the highest level would be doing that a lot. Must have come to terms with that some years ago. Been a great third day of tennis here. We've been through some singles battles, now into the doubles as the Brits roar out here. We're gonna finish up with the, the Dutchman Tom Egbrink serving first. First point to GB. Off the backhand error by Eggbrink. And it's the exchange error by Hewitt there. Gets us to 15 all. I'll just let some things unfold here in the early going. See if we can see any specific patterns unfolding. Right now, all four players just kind of wanting to get a feel for the court. Conditions, 
who's a little hot, who's a little off. back off the forehand of Eggbrink. Knocks us up here at 30 all. Great job there by both teams. Mostly the Brits on the attack, mostly the Dutch defending, just not able to get the last one over there. First break chance of the day. trouble and that's up and over with the explosive backhand winner from Hewitt it's game number one to team GB on the exchange Alfie Hewitt to serve first for the team of Hewitt and Reed. Just long, called by the umpire. Thunderous overhead that almost took out. Like duck, because here it comes. Gordon, lucky to escape with his life right there off the egg brink. Thunderous overhead. See another one here. <laughs> Phenomenal job by you just to get the overhead back, but Sheffers with a nice job repositioning, redirecting that forehand cross court off the sideline. Even the score at 15 all. There are no points finished easily on this court here. Earn everything, these four.
And it's the Gordon Reed forehand going deep. But if that doesn't indicate how difficult it is to win a point here, massive exchange, full on ground strokes, all four players. Great offense, great defense. Ultimately, it's just a easily missed forehand that ends it. Making all the tough shots. Egbrink not making any bones about it, going right at Hewitt, not trying to go around him. Smart shot, trying to go around probably produces or potentially produces the error. Now if he can come up with that. Shake your head and say nice job, too good. A couple of break points now for the Dutch team. And it's the backhand error by Hewitt that gets things evened up here at one all. Interesting to see how things continue to unfold here as we get an inch into the opening games of this first set and get everybody through their first service game. Right now, a couple of breaks. All four players capable of producing big offensive moments. But I think more importantly, their ability to defend, neutralize all four of them. So pace well, redirect well, have touch, can produce big when necessary to finish. Men's doubles at the highest level right here. And Hewitt just a little late on the backhand. Egbert continuing to press the action, stay aggressive. 15 love. Megabrink, Sheffers. Well, that's going to sail long. Wind starting to pick up here just a little bit. You can see some flags blowing in the back of the court on the egg brink and Sheffer side. So when the ball gets up above the bowl here at the stadium, it's gonna fly from that end. Wind has not been a factor much at all today, but as we get a little bit later into the afternoon and evening, it's starting to pick up just a tad. the line, stays inside the baseline. Beautifully executed by Egbrink right there. Get a shot there. Of the palm fronds blowing. Gives you an indicator of what's happening up above the stadium line. All four of these players capable of commanding big time spin, so there very capable of ripping those balls that will then explode and let the wind work for them. Sheffers do a nice job of covering the line there on the wide ball, forcing Reed to go back to his partner. It's his partner who produces the error, gets us to 30 all, but pretty much textbook. Can't give up the hole behind you if you got no help. All four players 
really adept at covering the court. And there's a Sheffer's error now. A couple back-to-back -back miss hits. It gives Hewitt and Reed a break opportunity to continue with the pattern here of breaks of serve. Phenomenal job there by Michael Sheffers to take on the swinging volley by Alfie Hewitt. He was pretty much locked into a spot after he managed to get that one back. Alfie kind of just dumps it past him, and it's 2-1 Hewitt Reed. Boys are getting after it here a little bit today. And again, sometimes going at somebody, just straight up your best option. Four players taking on fluids, getting a little bite to eat, knowing this is potentially going to be a long one. Let's see if somebody can get a hold of serve here. It's up to Gordon Reed to see if he can get his team a hold and a little bit of separation here in the early going of the first set. All three servers prior to him not able to hold. Massive backhand by Sheffers sprayed wide. First point to Reed and Hewitt. And Alfie Hewitt unleashes a backhand past Tom Eggbrink to give the Brits a 30-love early advantage here in the Reed service game. No problem handling that pace. And actually using it to the advantage right there. Tries to go around, technically got it. And there's your miracle shot of the tournament so far. The drop shot beautifully executed by Reed. And Eggbrink taking advantage of the opportunity seldom presented. Goes around the net post, scoots it in. About six inches off the ground. Grab that one for a future highlight reel. Disappointed on that one. Knows he gave one away. 
And we're back to 30 all. Yeah, Reed does a nice job of finishing that off after setting it up with the beautiful slice down the middle. Of course, an egg brink to have to hit up, giving him a nice opportunity. Knows to follow that one in, knowing he's going to have to hit something up if he doesn't clear him. And a nice look there at a finishing volley. Finally, a chance for somebody to hold serve. But not yet. just out. Gordon Reed sees sportsmanlike gesture to acknowledge his out ball. And now break chance for Eggbrink and Sheffers. Stay in the pattern. Hewitt backhand, deep, solid play by Eggbrink and Sheffers, just getting rock solid behind the baseline, defending everything, maneuvering Hewitt and Reed around, and we get it to two all. Some quality job here by the two Dutch guys. Just diffusing everything coming their way and looking for opportunities to get on the attack and taking it when they could, forcing some errors. Double fault by Eggbrink continues to keep us on track with a potential break of serve again.
and it's the forehand from Sheffers that finds the net after another lengthy rally of all-out swings full-on ground strokes nobody getting cheated here it is Hewitt Reed quickly out to a 30 love lead on the egg brink serve second time around the rotation Big time forehand by Tom Egbrick right there, exploding off the court. Massive racket speed, big strength, big strong, country strong Tom Egbrick right there. Sheffers put one on the back of Reed. One of the great shots in the game there when you got a guy reversing, exposing his back, not trying to go around him to where he can come out of that turn and get a racket on it to go right on his back. Tough to respond to that when you can hit it as well as these guys can. it a little thin leaves it in the net and as quickly as they roared out to two point advantage here in the opening points of this game it's now Eggbrink and Sheffers 40-30 with a chance to hold Tom goes big And the whiff. A couple of guys showing off their slice skills, and ultimately it's Eggbrink winning the war against Reed. And it is the first hold of the day for the Dutch, and they go around the tape up three games to two. And I think we're getting some shadow play here on the court, just like Reed missed the one shot from Eggbrink in the same location. It's Sheffers coming up. 
with a miss on the read forehand there. Sun's kind of dipping here. Stadium lights really haven't taken control of the lighting on the court yet. Some tough shadow areas to play in right now, particularly back in that Sheffer's corner. Too good by Alfie Hewitt. Just too much racket speed. Sees the opening. Only needs to see it for a second. Knows exactly what to do with it. Hewitt and Reed attempting to answer the egg break hold. right now still slight lead to get back on track here that's Reed trying to go aggressive off the backhand side who finds the net now Pretty much going to come down to the occasional winners here, but the majority of points going to be off the unforced errors, freebies, teams being able to get the easy points. Just stay steady. Typically wins. Too good for Michael Sheffers. Hewitt attempting to attack. Puts it right in the hot spot. Sheffers sticks the forehand volley. Just too good right there. Staying patient. Waiting for his look. Finally comes his way. Right out in front. Easy. And now, a break chance here for the Dutch. And it's Hewitt with the forehand through the middle. Forehand long by Hewitt there. Again, the unforced error. It's just. Brett's a little uncomfortable. Dutch answering pretty much everything they've thrown at him so far. the easy miss from Tom. Like I said, those are the ones that kind of start to make the difference when you start stringing them together.
three doing the nice job at net this time. Sheffer's inability to avoid him that leads to the advantage point for the Brits. Right through the gut. And there it is. Alfie giving his partner. The had a boy right there. It's the first hold for the Brits. And after a long string, four straight breaks. We've got two straight holds to get us to three all. The Scots hair flowing in the breeze. Too good, two up and down there from Gordon Reed on the forehand. Beating Michael Sheffers at the net. Michael just enough out of position. And Reed can get the forehand by him. Just wide. He can't quite catch up to that one. Gonna find backside of the baseline, not on the line and not in. Both teams just kind of riding out the little waves that are coming and going. It's gonna kind of come down to the wire here. Everything pretty evenly distributed. No one player standing out right now. Nobody hot, nobody cold, just solid tennis across the board. Great reach there by Gordon Reed. Just kind of a big staring contest right now. Gonna be down to who blinks first here. Get deeper into this set. Tight 
Tom Egbrink taking over a little bit right there. Back of the line, stretching Reed out, and then just monster forehand down the line past Hewitt. Biggest ball striker here on the court so far today. Big power, big rotation into that forehand. Hits it right, it's big. too much on that slice. Hewitt not able to get enough acceleration to respond. Catches the top of the tape, sends one flying into the sideboard. It's the touch up 4-3. Looking every bit the part that got him the bronze medal. See the sun getting ready to shut it down for the day here in Central Florida. Gorgeous day it's been. Last match of the day here on center court. Started with Yui Kamiji defeating Anik Van Koot in singles, straight sets, followed by a men's singles, Gustavo Fernandez, three set victory over Stefan Houdé. Match number three, quad doubles, was the team of Ant Cotterell and Andy Lapthorne over David Wagner and Nick Taylor in three sets. And here we are setting up the last match of the day the men's doubles, and it's Egbrink and Sheffers up 4-3 in the first. And there is the official posting of today's results so far here on center court. Picture postcard look there, and now the big view of the stadium court here at the USTA National Campus in Lake Nona, Florida. Day number three of our competition at the Wheelchair Tennis Masters. Men's doubles. Sheffers right there, just solid at the net. Taking exactly what the Brits give him and knowing what to do with it there. Beautiful backhand volley, real clean, real quiet. Just nice touch, soft hands. Big Eggman gets the racket on it, but just kicks it a little bit wide. Been amazing at some of the overheads that have been returned here so far today. No player giving up on anything at any time. Sails just a bit long off the racket of Gordon Reed. It's Eggbrink. Sheffers inching closer to kind of stretching the lead out here in the first set. They've answered every thing that the Brits have thrown at him so far today. Not blinking once so far. Not yet. Big ace. Big time for it, too. Up the tee. Gordon Reed. 
Big time for that shot. Gets things even at 30 all. Backing it up with another big bomb into the backhand of Eggbrink. Eggbrink, no response this time. And just like that, quickly. Hewitt Reed with a chance to hold, not things at four all. in a row gives the game to the Brits and gets things going for all here in the first set those are the easy errors where the momentum just starts to kind of shift over to one side of the court leaves the other side of the court kind of shaking their heads all of a sudden like hey what happened here not the time to be throwing those in but they can bring serve here at four all they can get right back on top See the pattern here, a little bit starting to present itself. It's Eggbrink setting Sheffers up. Eggbrink with the big bombs off the ground, hoping to produce a good look for Sheffers at the net. Britt's looking to make an attack. Alfie going big. Gordon going first at Sheffers, responds. Alfie trying to back it up, finds the net. job of covering for Reed right there. And the easy volley right there for Sheffers, who's been rock solid at the net so far today. Hasn't missed much at all. Kind of an ill-advised attack there by Reed, and he knows it. It's like, what am I doing? Freebie to the Brits there on the double fault by Agabrink. And just like that, as good as they got off to a start, give a couple quick points back. It's the Brits here. 30 all. getting the instructions from his serving partner as to where he's going with it. Probably did not tell him that he was going to go in the net with it. Just wide there. Brits pressing the action here a little bit. Up in the tempo a little bit, pressing a little bit, pushing, forcing the action. One after the other. Ball just wide of the sidelines. Here it is, break opportunity for Hewitt and Reed.
and it is a miss hit off the forehand return from Gordon Reed that erases that one break point. Kicks us back over to Deuce. Time for Egbert to unleash a big one. Goes with the spin, finds the net. Continues to struggle a little bit on the deuce side. And it's Sheffers with one of the rare misses we've seen from him today. And a big moment. Puts the forehand volley into the net. Gets a little nod from his partner. Hey, keep going, part. Keep going. Stick the next one. And it's a backhand volley winner from Alfie Hewitt. That gets the break and gets the Brits on the cusp of closing out set number one. game prior, I think, that really kind of set the tone there with the three unforced errors in a row off the Dutch rackets. Kind of dropped the momentum and gave the, the Brits a little breathing room, some stuff to work with. They know what to do and take advantage of it. Now their chance to serve it out. Here it is, Alfie Hewitt, serving at five games four, looking to close out set number one. Give the Brits the one set to love advantage. And what has been a back and forth great set of men's doubles tennis so far. The egg bring forehand once again. That's just too big. When there's an opening and he hits it, there is no response. Britain doing it everything there to open things up, but not being able to close the gap and leaving one wide open for egg bring, and he does. Concerted effort to attack Sheffers right now. Hewitt and Reed going with the two on one approach. Going to try to cool Egbring off. Give him a few less looks. Go right back to Sheffers. Trying to pin him at the baseline. Maybe get Egbring up now. Take advantage. But leaving that line open. Reed knows he makes the mistake. He's got to cover the line, force Egbring back to Hewitt. Little head shaker right there. Pressing the action here on the Sheffers return with sending Reed forward. And it's 
Egbert can't come up with a half volley, pushes it deep. Starting to really see some tactics here down the stretch. Initially kind of attacking Sheffers, trying to draw Egbing, Egbrink in, not let him get the full strokes in off the ground that have been so strong up till now. Reed and Hewitt, one of the few teams if in the world able to execute at this level, be as precise and either one of them do it. Once again, sending Reed forward on the Hewitt serve. the Egbrink backhand wide that gives Hewitt and Reed the first set point. See just a little bit of a crack in the Dutch armor. They've held up under the pressure so well so far today. They're not done, but GB is hyper-focused right now. Going to put Sheffers under some duress on this point. And it's Sheffers cleaning up after Eggbrink does a phenomenal job of setting everything up and handling the test. Passes it big time there. Stringing together a couple of monster forehands to finally give Sheffers a clean look at a finish. Right there, rips that one. Michael doing a nice job there. And we're at deuce. Fly long, just long. Read that time on the heavy assault. Stepping up and taking matters into his hands. And once again, another point for Hewitt and Reed to grab the first set. Hewitt choosing to let the the big jet pass by before he gets busy on this serve here. And there it is. The big first serve and no reply from Sheffers. Gives the Brits. <laughs> Set number 164. Quality tennis across the board. Here's the highlight we had from earlier. Tom Eggbrink gets it, rolls it around the net post. Seemed that was so long ago. Once again, just digging hard. Oh, that's a pretty good look at what determination's all about. Totally legal, comes around the net post, scoots it about four inches off the ground, finds the court. Winner. We'll have a quick little break here by a couple of the players. We will rejoin action here on center court as we pick up with set number two, men's doubles, Hewitt and Reed up one set to love over Eggbrink and Sheffers.
Yeah, I found my keys. Wasn't the keys this time. You know, I'm continuing to think like my God. It's dark here, you know, and I realize that it's not that dark. Got a layer. Well, let's look forward to some quality wheelchair men's doubles here in the second set as Tom Egbrink kicks it off for the team of Egbrink and Sheffers versus Hewitt and Reed. Hopefully no let up from the absolutely A-plus quality we saw in the first set. These guys picking up right where they left off. see much settling in here in the early going of this one. Everybody kind of knows where they're at. Just going to see who gets after it early and often here.
exchange of errors gets us to 15 all here. Opening game of the second set. Total back and forth battle there until the Brits created a little bit of an advantage late. Slight opening after four all. And Hewitt and Reed certainly knew how to close that door, not let the Dutch back in. QB maybe getting away with one there with both players a little bit out of position. Egbrink finding the net on the slice. Two backhands in a row for him that haven't found the mark. Handles it. Hewitt crosses over and looks to get offensive. Takes a little bit too big a bite right there. Finds the net. And we're back to 30 all. Back of the line, according to the official, hands out, makes the call, grabs back of the line. Sheffers points to an area way beyond the baseline. I know it wasn't that far out. She saw back of the line. Nobody wants to lose that point. Pretty heavily dejected Dutch team. Makes their way back, still in the fight here. Got to stay in it mentally. Eggbrink tries to finish it with one blow. And there's the frustration that hangs with him from the from the call, still looking up at the chair. Got to let it go. Been too good all day today. position with the setup. Momentum squarely in their corner right now. Dutch have to regroup. Especially Tom Egbrink here. Michael Sheffer's going over. Talking to his partner. Trying to settle him down. Get him refocused. Get him back on track. Playing the high quality tennis he was playing in set number one. himself if that call had stood. You can 
can see that there are still effects from the call. Egbrink not being the steady player he was early, trying to be and impose himself right now. Got to reel those emotions in, get settled back down here. Cannot afford to give GB all the freebies. Alfie Hewitt knifing the backhand right through the gut of team Eggbrink and Sheffers. Check in, Reed whips it around and ready to go to work. 30 love up. And it's an easy forehand error there by Reed. Take Brink and Sheffers on the board here, game number two. 30 15. Reed gives a nod to the Delta jet flying overhead, goes to work with the serve. Hewitt too good on the forehand right there. Incredible speed on that racket. Good momentum with the chair, able to free himself up, roll in, short backswing, just explode through the ball. Two chances to hold here, get a two love lead. the air off the egg brink backhand does in fact produce the two love lead early here in the second set you might begin to see just the relentless relentlessness of team GB starting to wear down what's been a remarkable performance so far by egg brink and Sheffers kind of getting into the must win game category right here. 2-1 on the changeover could settle everything back down, but 3-0, pretty large hole. Once again, Egbrink, who's continuing to carry some frustration now, making the air. Has not recovered since the one call two games ago. Of 
gorgeous sky in the background surrounding center court here at the USTA National Campus. As we inch closer to 7 p.m. here on the east coast of the United States. Getting late for those maybe watching back home in Europe. But if you love best of the best tennis, stay up for this. There's the bullet from Hewitt right at the body of Eggbrink, kind of reciprocating from one we saw earlier in the first set. Nothing personal, just business. Comes in and just unleashes that one. Once again, the smart play, not looking to be too precise and go around, just tie up the opponent by getting the ball on the body. Jeffers finds the net, and it's a break at love for Hewitt and Reed, one of the easiest games we've seen since the start of this match. I don't know that we've had a game at love yet. Right now, one team full of energy and one team struggling to find it. sky off behind us tonight. The lights beautifully adorning center court here. We're just about finished up with all of our action for day three here at the national campus. Not much left out there. This is in fact the last one going. All other matches scheduled for today have been completed. Kind of a different feel from Team Dutch right now. Got to get back to what was producing pressure on the Brits earlier. Just resiliency, consistency. Not going to go through those guys in one shot. Have to stay steady until some openings present themselves. And that's what Michael and Tom did such a nice job of in set number one.
man, that's a great crossover. You watch this British team just fluidly just interchange from do side to add side. Just maximizing all their strengths. Never allowing opponents to pinpoint one or the other. Just back. Alfie gives Gordy a nod, says, yeah, I'm gonna mix one in. I guess that's as good a time as any. Doesn't know where he's going here. Pretty all on the Hewitt serve. Up 3-0 in a set. Looking, kinda looking to put this one away. Get to dinner somewhere. But the Dutch looking to just put the brakes on enough to get back in this match. Sheffer settling down a little bit, getting back to what got him to such a good position in set number one. Steady tennis. Allowing their opponents to make a few errors here and there. Now a break opportunity to get on the board here in the second. Michael handles the perceived missed calls just a little bit better than, than Tom. Seems to affect Tom so much more. Can't let it go, and now it's point away from 4-love. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw Egbrink drive one through the concrete wall here on this point. Oh, it's Gordon Reed with the muffed forehand volley. Get back to Deuce.
Great hands by Sheffers. Just slightly missed by Reed there. Kind of wishes he had that one back. And now another break opportunity for the Dutch. one more time here. 3-1, we're still in a fight. 4-0. I think the Dutch... might be up way too much against it then. Hewitt staying on the down the line attack versus Sheffer and winning the battle. Sheffer coming up with the miss hit on the backhand side. One more chance for Foro right here. Gordon does not miss that volley. Sheffers goes the attack route, pays the price for love Great Britain. Might be all she wrote for Eggbrink and Sheffers. Be too big a mountain to climb here. Gordon, hands up, ready to respond. Sticks it. Job of Hewitt settling things down right there, letting his partner get out. And then that. <laughs> yeah, little head shake, little shoulder shrug. Like, why? Hey, here we go. Error there off the read return. Gets Egg Brink and Sheffers to quick 30 love. Love lead to 30 15 and kind of right in the mix again. Here come the Brits. able to find the sweet stop between staying steady and staying aggressive. 
knows that he got a little bit too ramped up there for a period of time, was going a little too big, unsustainable, but now seems to have backed off just a tad much. Key to success for that team is for him to stay reasonably aggressive. Miscommunication there by the Dutch, and it costs them and puts the Brits out to five love here in the second. Gordon Reed to serve, five love. Don't know what the definition of insurmountable is in the dictionary, but could be this right here. Setting five love down to Hewitt and Reed. Might as well just start swinging, fellas. Forehand by Reed gets us to 15 all. might be seemingly every call going for Team GB and every call making Team Sheffers and Team Ebrick upset. Thank you. 
And double match point for Reed and Hewitt as things get a little sketchy down the stretch here. Just got to grind it out. Oh it's not the 4th of July, but we got some fireworks at the end of the match here. Zegbrink takes a rip. Reed fights it off. Sheffers takes his crack at it. And it's Reed still serving. One match point left. And there it is, game, set, match. Alfie Hewitt, Gordon Reed, too much. Great first set from Team Eggbrink and Team Sheffers, but not enough sustainability. And a clean sweep through in the second set. Six love for Hewitt and Reed. And Eggbrink still expressing his displeasure with the chair. But we will have our post-match interview with the winners. And then we will wrap it up. Well, I'll wrap it up right now. It's been a phenomenal day of tennis. We'll do our post-match interview, and then we'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, actually, tomorrow. Um, a little foggy right now. But, uh, yeah, join us for the post-match interview on court with Hewitt and Reed. We'll see you tomorrow.
Guys, let's get down to it. What are we doing for dinner tonight? <laughs> Good question. Whatever the room service is. Oh yeah, just gonna dig in, order out, order it in. It looks like it. We'll be ordering breakfast at this rate. Okay. Yeah, at this rate. Long day for you both. You know, it started off with singles this morning, and now uh, culminates with doubles. Hey, how about the Dutch in the first set, bringing everything and really pushing the action there, and forcing you guys to play really some of the best tennis I've seen in a long time. Yeah, they made it tough for us first set. Uh, I think our intensity was maybe a little bit too low, uh, so we weren't causing enough pressure, but. I think we did a good job of stepping up second set and taking it on a little bit more. Pretty obvious to me where the match turned. Is it as obvious to you guys as it was to me? It's the one line call that Tom just couldn't seem to shake. And from that point on, he kind of wasn't the same player, and he had been uh, kind of a difference maker in the first set. Uh, is that how you guys see it, or is it not that that easily? I think I think we had a big part to play in it as well. I think our level definitely increased a lot. Our movement and intensity was ten times better in the second set, and I think we got a lot more depth in the ball, which made it more difficult for them to, especially Tom, for him to come around onto his forehand, and which is his big, obviously his big strength. So. So yeah, it wasn't easy first set, but yeah, we, we managed to turn around our side in the second. And last one, uh, got some pretty good exchanges at the net. It's a little bit of back and forth with you guys getting on their body a little bit, them getting on you a little bit, but uh, all kind of part of the of the action. Sometimes that's the best shot to get after somebody is to go right at them and uh, some fireworks at the end. So uh, you know what? You stood up to it. You tested uh, them. They tested you. You guys come out the best, and you're moving on. So that's kind of the bottom line. Uh, what's in store for you tomorrow? Yeah, last group match tomorrow. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it's been a good start so far. So hopefully take take a little bit more of that level from the second set into tomorrow's match, and um, yeah, try and try and be. Uh, you know, obviously today took a lot out of us energy-wise. So try and be business-like tomorrow, and then yeah, look forward to the later stages. All right, great job, guys. As always, great watching you play and perform. Uh, wonderful job. Go get that dinner, and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers,